Look at question number six. What is a glycosidic bond? So a glycosidic bond, if we first try to analyze the word, you'll notice that it has as a prefix like glyco. So we can kind of relate this to glucose or to sugar molecules in general. So we know that the glycosidic bond has something to do with like sugar. So actually, glycosidic bonds are uh, covalent bonds or bond, I'll make it singular. It's a covalent bond that joins a sugar molecule to another group. So you're not limited to just sugar molecules binding with another sugar molecule. It can add, bind to something else as well. So I'm going to show that in an example. For example, let's say you had the following sugar molecule. So all sugars kind of look similar to this, and they just have alcohol groups sticking out. And like depending on the direction of the alcohol groups, like this one is going up, that's what kind of sets them apart. So let's say we had a sugar molecule. I couldn't tell you what this one is actually called. But this is just an example of one. And then I'm going to add just another alcohol group. Let's say this is like ethanol. But it can be really any other group. I'm going to circle where they would connect, ideally. Let me just... Here. I'll circle like a water molecule as kind of like a byproduct of this reaction. And then I'll draw our final molecule on the right. And then I'm just going to draw in where the two groups came together. And I'll also be technical and add that hydrogen, I mean uh, water, was also produced as a byproduct. And the glycosidic bond in particular is right there. So this is our glycosidic bond. So let's see what our junior tutor said. Glycosidic bonds are covalent bonds that combine monosaccharides or longer sugar chains to other carbohydrates forming disaccharides 
oleosaccharides and polysaccharides. This solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.